also, you know, I just thank the Lord for cheering this grump, and yeah. it takes a lot of pain with me now. These so much for me. Uh -huh. And you know, at first, you know, but I, I love that. You know, and one thing I got thank the Lord because He blessed us with a car, mm -hmm. a truck, rather, because we didn't have transportation. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Julie, Mom, give her a hand, y'all. <laughs> All right, sir. My name is Pearl. I'm, I'm Julie. Daddy, really. All right. Julie, my wife, and I. I really didn't focus too much. So just do a deal. Okay. <laughs> Tell me your name again. Amos Pearl. Amos. Okay. Amos. Give Amos a hand. All right, right ma'am. My name is Rachel. Um. I got my MBA in 2011, and then I started a weight loss journey in 2011. Mm -hmm. So from 2000, right. December 2011 to December 2012, I lost 30 pounds. Right. And I'm just right. trying to continue. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So now, did y'all hear something that identified with you? Yes. All right then, who gonna start us off? Now this time y'all just raise your hand and tell me, come on here. I can relate to Gwen because I bought my first home. Okay. I can relate to Mr. Pearl because I'm glad to be here too. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can relate to Rhoda because she traveled outside the country. Mm -hmm. I was able to take a cruise to the Bahamas. Of course, I had mm -hmm. the kids with me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't enjoy you everything. Enjoy, right. I didn't realize all the stuff that was on the ship to the last thing. Oh, I was so busy oh, running behind the kids. I yeah. was scared they was going to go overboard. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that's it? Mm -hmm. Brandy, right? Yeah. Give Brandy a hand. All right. Who else can identify? I know y'all taking some good notes. Come on here. Okay. Um, mine was about my house. Okay. So I can identify with Brandy because she was excited about buying her own house. I can identify with Tisha because she was excited about she brought her house. And plus she was able to accomplish her job goals, get her career going and everything. And I can identify with Phyllis about just being you. Just being you. <laughs> Come on here. I can identify with Phyllis also. <laughs> I can identify with the cop that I'm living with. So everybody happy with being you, huh? Yes. Okay, come on, Rhoda, what you got? Of course, I identify with Robin, but we like to travel. And I identify with uh, with Miss Phyllis and Mr. Amos. Glad to be here and just glad to be who I am. And I identify with Rachel Raquel. Rachel. Rachel, I'm going to join her on that weight loss journey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, come on, Miss Philly. Uh -huh. and, well, so Everybody gonna have to say something, so uh -huh. give it here. Yeah, yeah. I identify with a uh, young lady, Raquel. Michelle. Michelle. Uh, going back to school, where she got her MBA, but I went back to school and got my uh, bachelor uh, in 2010. So, out of 20 some years, stopping and going, stopping and going. So I finally did accomplish that. And the cruise is, uh, I have been on about four of them, so I identify that deal. But my goal is, next time I go on one, I'm going to always go with my mama. Mm -hmm. And I'm tired of going over <laughs> with my mama. So I don't believe in God that next time I'm going with a significant <laughs> I bought one house, I bought two. So that was a real accomplishment for me. Right. After I got my divorce, 
my husband just, <laughs> he did, he ruined me. Yeah. I can identify with Tisha because I'm the first in my family of, I don't know how many generations, of just getting a degree. Oh, wow. okay. Mm -hmm. So I can identify, and then all my kids have degrees. Mm -hmm. So out of all my family, I'm the only one that I got my degree, and not only did I get mine, my okay. kids got theirs okay. too. So that's a real big accomplishment. Okay, good. You got three boys. Three oh, boys. And you can good. raise those boys and keep them out of jail, mm -hmm. keep them out of trouble, mm -hmm. and then they're educated. Yes. All right. So that's all right. Real all right. Now you're working on your granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris. Wow. I can identify with everyone. Uh, especially fellas, you know, just being confident in myself and loving who I am. And Robin, going on the cruise. I did go on the cruise, but I went by myself. Next time I'm going to go with my kids. <laughs> I have a brother who didn't, mm -hmm. and Cruz, just being me, I'm mm -hmm. just thankful. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, it's better than that. Did everybody hear her? Mm -hmm. yeah. To give someone attention, because you hear that sound, you don't say, hey! Find you down, the host, you don't yell. Okay, ladies, you never raise your voice. You are always a lady. Okay. And when we talk, we chew, we swallow, then we talk. We never talk to food in our mouths. You don't? Okay. So what's the first thing you do when you go into the kitchen? 
just uh, coming in and sort of observing and seeing the layout and just sort of seeing how the people interact with the girls because that's one of the things I know Pat, been knowing Pat for a while, but I just never knew what actually goes in, what goes on inside of, of the camp. I know of the ladies that uh, that comes and serve and help head out, but I really got to uh, meet them uh, and sort of just uh, saw the desire and saw the earnesty of them just really loving the idea of uh, just teaching and serving our young ladies. Uh, and I noticed that, I know this is the 10th year, but it just seemed like my eyes were just open this year. And I know this is the 10th year. And the vision of what Pat is trying to accomplish is becoming more clearer and clearer. And one thing that I like, because to be honest with you, I really thought that this was something that I just bring my child to, drop them off, and I keep moving and go on and do what I have to do and come back and get them when, when the time, you know, is when, it, when the activity is over and I come and pick them up. But today, I just sit back and I just observe and I notice uh, the spirit of excellence and the things that they are teaching our young ladies, especially, uh, especially I like the etiquette because I take my grandbaby out to eat like every Sunday and you know of course we teach her the correct uh, things you know to do as far as eating and sitting at the table. But this time, just listening and, and watching uh, the teachers uh, teach them about etiquette and the proper uh, way and the proper things to do while dining at the dinner, I thought that was real, real neat. And that is something that she can carry on. It's not, I like the life skills that I'm beginning to see that's being taught here uh, in the ministry. But Pat, we love you. You are doing a great, great job. You and your team, your staff, y'all are doing a great job for our girls. And I am really, truly looking forward to uh, participating and being a part of this ministry uh, as the years go on. Love you.
I want a real pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> Put your way now, Ashley. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No.
grilled chicken salad. Unfortunately, I left several major items at the home, at home like the olives um, that I had. But then you're going to, what's she have to see? Did she come back with the same one? Somebody's going to get the camera. This is too cute. Look at this. Oh, Christ. And y'all did a beautiful job with the decorating. Oh, Kyle Grace over here is so sexy. It can compare to uh, Gigi's. All right. All right. No tomato. Thank you. 